Do you need to have multiple report pages appear on a physical page? In this presentation, I will cover working with logical and physical pages within the application code and within the report design. Typically, we do not think in terms of logical and physical pages when we create a report, as we expect each report page to print on its own physical page. There can be times, however, when you need to have a multiple report pages print on a single physical page. In terms of definitions, a logical page refers to the page that's defined by the paper settings of the report design document or by API calls within the report application itself. To implement logical page mapping, the mapping of logical to physical pages, the report application calls reporting API functions that specify how the logical pages will be mapped to the physical pages. For my demonstrations, I'm going to use a report that I have created and named the Simple List Report. I've set up my report's demo application to include this report, which outputs the default of one logical page per physical page. In order to implement logical page mapping, in order to have multiple logical pages on each physical page, I need to add some page-related reporting API functions to the report application. These include FGL Report Select Logical Page Mapping, FGL Report Configure Multi-Page Output, and FGL Report Set Paper Margins. Information about these functions can be found in the General Report Writer documentation, specifically within the reporting API functions relating to the page. The first function that we will add is FGL Report Select Logical Page Mapping. This function takes a single string parameter. To specify that multiple ISO or JIS size pages be printed on the physical page, you set this parameter to multi-page. The next function to add is FGL Report Configure Multi-Page Output. There are three parameters to specify for this function. The first parameter is Page Exponent. With this parameter, you specify the exponent to apply to the number 2. If you enter 2, for example, you are specifying 2 to the power of 2, resulting in four logical pages printed on a physical page. If you enter 3, you are specifying 2 to the power of 3, resulting in eight logical pages printed on a physical page. Enter 4, and you end up with 16 logical pages, and so on. The second parameter is the ISO number parameter, which takes an integer. As per our example, if you want the logical page to be an ISO A4 page, you would enter 4. If the page is defined as an ISO or JIS size page, defined in the report definition or set it by the application with FGL report configure page size, then you can enter null for this parameter and the predefined size will be used. The last parameter specifies whether you want the layout to be portrait or landscape. For portrait, set to true for landscape set to false. The last function that I will add is FGL report set paper margins, which allows me to specify a top, bottom, left, and right page margin size for my physical report page. The function is optional, but it does allow you to tweak the margins for the resulting physical report page. Let's switch back to Studio and add this code to our report application. We need to add these reporting API functions to the function that configures our report, so I'm looking for conf my configure report function. We need to add it prior to calling the FGL report commit current settings, and to save time I've already added the code, let me remove the comments and review the code. We check to see if the report is in the sample list report, and if it is, we use FGL report select logical page mapping to specify a multi-page report. We use FGL Report Configure Multi-Page Output to specify four logical pages per physical page, 2 to the power of 2, an ISO page size of 4, and a portrait layout. And we use FGL Report Set Paper Margins 
to provide a top and bottom margin of 2.5 centimeters and a left and right margin of 0.5 centimeters. We save our changes and we run the report. Switching to Report Viewer, we can see that we now have four logical pages to each physical page. Our report displays the logical page number on each logical page. Now let's add the physical page numbers to that. To add the physical page numbers to a report footer, we need to do the following. Add a page number box to the report footer, and then edit the text expression property to include numeric methods that return physical page information, either the get physical page number, which returns the physical page, or the get total number of physical pages, which returns the total physical page count. These methods do not take any arguments. To show this, let's look at the sample list report design document. I find the footer and I add a new page number box. Then having selected the new page number box, I search its properties for the text expression property and I open the expression editor. I start by entering a string with quotes that states physical page. I then put in a plus sign and then I start entering my first method starting with format. The control spacebar combination opens up the code completion box allowing me to select from a list of valid choices based on the current context. I specify the get physical page number method followed by a set of parentheses and then a comma and then I want the number displayed as Arabic Next, I add an additional string, including the word of, surrounded by spaces. And finally, I add another format method, passing in the get total number of physical pages method and specifying that the resulting number display as an Arabic number. I ensure that I have expression OK, and then I save my changes. The report is ready to run. And I can run the report. Since I've only changed the report definition, I do not need to recompile the application. Looking at the report created, I can see that it now contains information in the footers about the physical page.